Well, the court ruling has um, uh, been a new a chapter in a long-standing uh, conflict in the interpretation of the, the relationship between uh, national constitutional law and European uh, Union law. But um, the, the Constitutional Court made um, uh, two things pretty clear. The first one um, uh, is that um, the, the court clearly recognized the supremacy of EU law over national law, even constitutional law. But secondly, it made also clear that, uh, of course, national uh, constitutional courts can control whether the um, um, EU law um, uh, remains within the, the, the scope of powers which have been transferred to the EU by national law. And it, it did so and uh, declared um, that um, the um, uh, ECB and the European Court of Justice confirming the monetary policy was ultra wires in one specific point. And in the end, this will have the effect that the uh, um, Bundesbank will um, have to, to uh, check their, their further involvement in asset purchases um, uh, if there is no new check on the proportionality done by the ECB. Whether it feels bound or not bound is not so much relevant as the fact that the proportionality test will be conducted within the next three months. Um, and secondly, um, the, the Constitutional Court said that the German government and the German Bundestag must closely more, must monitor more closely whether um, ECB is still acting within its mandate and, uh, or, or, or acting ultra virus And this is something we have to institutionalize in some way we are still discussing. And on that point, I mean, how do you see the limits of the ECB's mandate being regulated or controlled? Who should, which institution should ultimately have say over that? This is a, a very uh, a tricky and difficult um, uh, matter, of course, but uh, to, to say it quite, quite bluntly in, 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 in advance or quite directly, um, no one, neither the Constitutional Court nor someone in Parliament or government, um, thinks that um, uh, decisions on interest rates or other um, ordinary um, monetary policy decisions shall be monitored or corrected or commented by someone in the Parliament, but in, um, in the government. This is not the content of the ruling and it's not the intention of the German uh, policymakers. Um, we are discussing a more difficult aspect. Um, uh, if, if it comes to unconventional uh, monetary policy, shall um, uh, even an independent institution be allowed in a democratic um, environment to define um, the, the term monetary policy completely um, uh, without any control, without any corrective checks and balances on its own, um, uh, or not? Or must there be someone to, to, to control that the, the definition or the practice of monetary policy is still uh, in accordance with law? And uh, I do think that we need such instance to control the application of, um, of the treaty by the ECB, at best, it would be the European Court of Justice um, uh, it, it, doing it in a precise way. That was one, one thing that the, the court really criticized, that the EC, ECJ did not do its job properly in controlling um, the mandate of the ECB. Um, so I think there must be an instance. But we will certainly not go um, to, to a situation in Germany that we discuss single monetary policy decisions by the ECB on a, on a weekly basis.